Hello again. I'm Jonathan Grant, and I'm here with Michael Spence. We're going to be talking about Mike and his involvement with our multimedia collaborative at First Lutheran Church. What is it that actually brought you here? Why, why did you want to join Multimedia Collaborative? Okay, well, the first thing is, is I noticed going back to the Love Grows Here thing, I saw that that was happening here. I saw it as an opportunity to be myself uh -huh. while getting the message out there. And the message that I want to get out there is at one point I was homeless uh -huh. and I feel that the homeless have lost their voice because of many prejudices mm -hmm. says that there are out there uh they are oppressed in many ways and I want to try to get that I want to educate the people that would be watching our show on SPNN uh -huh. about the the where they might be wrong well, that, that everybody who's homeless isn't just a guy with a sign on the on the interstate or something correct. like that. Right. And not all of us have horrible mental illnesses. Not all of us are going to be out there panhandling. Uh -huh. We're not all drunks. Some of us even have some education. Certainly. Certainly. See, and I feel that this is a great medium mm -hmm. in order to get that message out. And the other thing is, is there's a lot of issues that the homeless have and they don't have anybody that can really truly get that voice heard uh -huh. and i'm going to go out and get a lot of the i'm going to bring the homeless in hopefully and do some interviews and let them somewhat rant uh -huh. a little bit sure and let them say hey i want work mm -hmm. i i want a house i want affordable housing i want services out there that can help me get back on my feet Sure. Those kinds of things. And even some of that is through working through the multimedia collaborative. Correct. That, I mean, there are definite marketable skills to be learned here in practice by being on camera, by using the computers, by learning editing and whatnot that are applicable in a wide variety of fields. Right. Um, so far, I've, I've learned how to use many wonderful programs mm -hmm. that I would not have been able to learn. I'm learning how to use the Windows Movie Maker and DVD Maker and mm -hmm. I'm learning I've learned how to use a camera and I've learned how to use a control room the switcher um, well this is something that I find very fascinating too I mean I know that you're kind of a, a techno guy kind of a kind of a geek at heart you've yeah. had computers in your hands I don't know since 286's 386's <laughs> TRS 80's have been around but have you ever heard of what an 886 is Yes, 1970s computers. That's what I started on. Um, I was. Uh, I'm not that old, uh -huh. but I mean. But being, your technology had been, yeah. Right, being that I've not been able to come up with the money to buy the most advanced system until uh -huh. very recently, and I got that one at a great deal. Yeah. But um, I've always had to dig it out of trashes and rebuild it. Yeah. So I was kind of forced to learn it. Sure. Sure. And your background really isn't, I mean, it is techno, but it isn't multimedia. I mean, you haven't done camera right. work before. You haven't done the, you've done some sound recording because I know you've got quite a nice collection of, of music, a very wide variety. <laughs> a lot of um, I've also, I, I had my own business for about a year. I did um, digital photography. Oh, okay. Okay. So uh, I do know a little bit about the image processing and right. those kinds of things. Yeah. But I've I've really learned a lot because even though I've done audio by itself and I've done video by itself, I'm now merging what I've learned in the past, and mm -hmm. it's a whole new animal. Well, and, and you're kind of like leapfrogging. I mean, you're not you're not taking the baby steps anymore. It's like right. you know you're putting it together, and that's kind of what is really available. I mean, I've right. I've been amazed in some of the interviews we've done how techno savvy. A lot of our homeless folk are. They have their email accounts. Mm -hmm. They've got their their cell phones. They've got electronic mailboxes. Right. Uh, you know, a wide variety of things that frustrate the heck out of me. <laughs> I was I I read I was I'm an avid reader. Mm -hmm. And in one, if I remember correctly, I think it was one of Stephen King's books. He said, twenty years ago, the homeless had transistor radios. Now they have computers and cell phones. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> wow. So this is a great dovetail, a great training opportunity for right. folks who really want to uh, 
not just make their voices heard or be creative, but to actually have a good, stable, um, sustainable lifestyle and um, right. you know, skill set. Right. And plus, I'm hoping that many of our politicians will see this. I hope many of our business owners will see this and mm -hmm. see that just because one or two are messing up, not to include everybody. Yeah, those guys sipping coffee in your in your Wi-Fi cafe might just be the godsend to your business or websites or uh, you know, right? Quite a quite a um, quite a good consultant. Correct. Very good. Very good.